Welcome back. In this video, we are going to solve another one of the important programming challenges of HackerRank and name of that programming challenge is Array Manipulation. In this programming challenge, we will get first line we will get as a space separated integer two values. The first one is the size of the array and the second one will be the number of operations. In the number of operation will also will be divided into three different sections. The first one we will get the starting value, second one will be get the ending value, and the third one will be injected from starting to ending value. Now let's understand this problem. For understanding this problem, I will take an example. So let's say the size of the array I will take is five. And the number of operation will be three. So if there are three different operations, so I will indicate it. The value is the first value will be one, second one will be two, and the value that is going to inject between from first to second will be hundred. Now the second operation from first value will be two, second value will be five, and the value it is going to inject from first to second it will be hundred. Now the last operation. Three starting value, four ending value, and the value it is going to inject is hundred. Now, what I will do? I will arrange the size of the array here. So array starting is five. There are five array values will be there, right? So one, two, three, four, and five. Now, here I can see that the first value one to two is hundred. So Let's mark it as hundred. Now, the second no second operation two to five is also hundred. So let's mark two to five as hundred. Hundred. Now, the third operation three to four is marked as hundred. Now, if I will add the value from one to five, the values which is given between the size of the array, it will be hundred. This one hundred plus hundred two hundred. This one is also two hundred. This one is also two hundred. Again, the last one is also hundred. Now we have got this result from this operation, and our output will be the maximum value of this summation. And the maximum value will be you can see that here, two hundred. So this is our input in a two different section. The first is one is the first line is space separated integer. The first one is size of the array. Second one is the number of operation. Number of operation is also divided into three different section. Now I have taken an example like this, and in this example I have computed and I found out that our output will be as two hundred. Now let's talk about the constraint of this problem. And the size of the array it will be between three to ten to the power seven, and the number of operation will be between one to two into ten to the power five, and now the three different values: the starting value and ending value. It will be between one to n, and we know n the last will be ten to the power seven. Now, the summation the value it is going to inject from first to end it will be one. Sorry, it will be starting position will be zero to ten to the power nine. So this is our problem. This is our constraint, and this will be our output. Now we to we need to solve this problem. To solve this problem. First of all, what I am going to do? I am going to write the previous problem only. Let's write a pseudo code of this value. So first of all, I am going to accept the values. So what I will do here? First of all, I am going to write n n equal to here. I got as input as a five. Again, m m equal to three different operation. Now. There are three different operation is there. So what I am going to do here, I am going to iterate for int i equal to zero, i less than three, i plus plus. 
now three different operation i am going to inject and i am going to save the value here so before saving the value what i am going to do i am going to initialize three value first one is int a equal to 0 second one is int b equal to 0 0 now i have initialized three different value now what i will do i told you that these three different operation i will get is space separated integers so what i am going to do i am going to store the value and i will split with the help of a split method of java this is just the rough code not the complete code complete code i am going to write in the hacker rank website which we are going to see the so here i am going to split the three different values now let's save the value here and a equal to Now from this we have I have accessed all the input value now now let's understand the logic here first of all what I am going to do I am going to initialize an array let's say array will be around uh, let's say I will give that array name query query I will give and the length of the array will be uh, total number of length of the size of the array plus one mu so this is the total length of the array length of the array's total value index position will be 0 1 2 3 4 and 5 so our length of the value is 5 and i have taken n plus 1 so it will become 6 6 index position you can see that here 0 1 2 3 4 5 After getting all the three values a, b, and c, a, b, and uh, sorry, I have done a mistake here. Here I have initialized int k equal to 0, and here I have written as c. Now, here the value is going to iterate from the three different operations. The first operation which I got first starting value is 1 and ending value is 2 so what i'm going to do here in starting value minus 1 i'm going to save the the third value that will be the summation of 100 so starting value is 1 so 1 minus 1 it will be 100 it is going to save it here now the 2 will be the ending value in 2 i'm going to save minus 100 now again uh, i will do the same same calculation here around the starting position will be 2 so here i'm going to save 100 and the ending position is 5 so here i'm going to save minus 100 minus 100 now again third operation in third operation the starting position sorry here i've done a mistake the starting position is 2 so 2 minus 1 100 is going to store here and 5 is going to store there only now 3 so starting position is 3 to 3 minus 1 2 so 100 plus 100 is going to store so 100 is going to store here and 4 is minus 100 is going to store here now if i will calculate total values so 0 will be around 100 this one also 100 now 100 minus 100 it will become 0 again 3 is uh, nothing initialized so here I also I will mark it as 0 because the default value of int array is 0 now here it is came as minus 100 and here the fifth value is minus 100 now, the, this is the logic I have implemented now let's write the same logic in our uh, for loop so what i will do i'm going to write it here something like this i have to calculate also right so what i will do i'm going to write here um, query a first value minus one plus equal to 100 so and the second one is query last value minus 
equal to 100. Now, because of this logic, what I have written here, I will get this out. If we will check again, query a minus 1 plus 100, like that I have iterated and it is given as n plus 1. So, I got something like this value after implementing this logic. Now, for example, let's say here it is given 100. So, let's write it 100 here. 100. Now, 100 plus 100, it will become 200. Addition of value from left to right. Addition of value from left to right. If I will do, I will get something like this. 100 I got. Now, 100 plus 100, here it will become 200. Now, 200 plus 0, it will become 200 again. Now, 200 plus 0, again it will become 200. Now, 200 minus 100, it will become 100. And 100 minus 100, it will become 0. We will get something like this from and from there we can extract from this I can extract the maximum value and we also know that the maximum value is 200. So how we are going to do that for that what I will do I will write one more for loop outside. So let's write one more for loop here. So to write our logic what I will do I am going to initialize two values outside. The first value that I am going to initialize is int sum default value I will make it as 0 another one is int result I will make it as a 0 only now inside the for loop inside the for loop what I will do sum plus equal to query if I will follow this logic then you will figure it out some I have implemented it here like this so sum so first value that int i equal to 0 it is given as sum in sum it is going to store 100 okay in the next iteration uh, query r1 uh, is already given 100 so again now it is going to sum store 100 plus 100 200 now the second one again it is going to store I'm going to store is 200 plus 0 to 200 plus 0 it will become 200 plus 0 it will become 200 again so again sum it was going to store 200 now again the third position of this you can see the third index 200 plus 0 so 200 only now the fourth index it fourth iteration 200 minus 100 it will become 100 now again the last iteration is not going to happen because i have done i less than n so it will stop it here only now it is going to see all those values from the beginning to end and it will present the value like this now i have to extract the maximum value to extract the maximum value what i am going to do i am going to write here result and from here whichever the value is maximum either sum or result store that one right and after that i'm going to just return result result and i will get result as 200 just you can check it out here here for starting value 0 will be result will be 0 sum will be 0 after iteration sum will be 100 and result will be 0 so math dot max which one is the getter sum or result so result is 0 sum is 100 so sum value is going to store in result okay it is going to iterate like this and here it is going to store 200 and we will return the output now what we will do after implement uh, writing this pseudo code let's try it out the same pseudo code in hacker rank to see if this is the correct logic or not okay the according to the rule i have to write my code here but i don't think it is required because you can see that here n and m i'm getting it here and after that uh, the split after that you can see that here the split method is written here so instead of uh, writing our code here i will directly write my code here and then pass i will pass it in the result section so what i will do i will remove everything here from i will remove this class only that will be better this public class result i have removed now next let's remove this query section 
int stream dot range i don't need for now Here I've done a mistake. Now uh, I think I've rectified all my mistakes. So let's run the code again. Okay, three test cases got successful. Now let's submit the code. So this one is also got successful here. I have done few things here for loop so instead of that for loop if you wanted to use uh, in stream uh, java 8 in stream that also you can do So this is also one way to do that using Java 8 in the stream dot range. Now here also we can see three different operations operation got successful. Now let's submit the code to see all other test cases. Here I can see that all the test cases got successful. So this is the end of this video. Uh, if you if you like this video please like and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon to get all the regularly updates in the next video again i am going to talk about another important programming challenges so stay tuned and keep watching my channel thank you